Welcome back to Off Foot Outdoors. I'm Ted, your host. Today I'm in Ohio with Bob. We're doing some shed hunting. I'm going to put some mineral blocks out for the deer to help them through the season here. Uh, so hopefully we get some sheds. Uh, I'm walking up to my stand now to set my camera and put this block up here. So come along with us and I hope you enjoy the video. Did you sink it? Did you sink it? Oh, yeah. Did you sink it? I put my block out, set my camera. We found a bunch of deer hair here. And I don't know if a deer was shot, but this is our lease. So nobody should be on here unless they can't come across the street. But a deer looked like it definitely was dead and something got it. Looks like coyotes or something right here. See all that right there? And it's spread out all around here, so no bones there. So I'm going to be looking for a skull or a rack and uh, maybe some bones to see what it was. Stay with us. These paths are unbelievable in here, guys. This is actually on the north end of my tree stand, so we went. I'm sitting in my stand. I went to the right. There's a, if you go up that way, that's the way Bob is. He's walking the fence line up there, our property line. And I'm walking just about maybe 50 to 80 yards on this hillside. And as you can see, it's a really thick area, but there's trails all through here. So we're just going to go down and we're going to circle around. It's going to be a pretty big hike, so we'll be right back. All right, guys. Well, get warm out it's like 55 degrees here today um, <clears throat> you can see right there there's a buck rub uh, Bob has a ladder like about 50 yards right there when I just came through that opening uh, but we're heading down to Bob's food plot and then we're gonna walk back towards my spot so I uh, haven't seen it hey, there's a ton of trails in here that are being used uh, it's an awesome spot but uh, during hunting season I didn't see many big ones out of it so uh, we're just going to keep walking to the top of this hill and then we're going to swing down and around and go back towards my stand. So stay with us. All right, guys, as you can see behind me, we're going to walk this edge of this wood line right here. Bob's going to go inside. I'm going to go to the outside and we're going to walk this all the way down until you can't see anymore right there. All right, stay with us. Haven't found anything yet. Sorry about the wind, guys. I don't have my mics in, but Bob looks like he found one. Nice. Hey, there's an old one, guys. So light, so green. Cool. We found something. Didn't leave empty-handed. All right, guys. So if you look right where those telephone poles are, sorry, I'm out of focus. Over there. That's where we come in, that's where Bob walks in on. And this is a big gully right here that I'm gonna walk down over to where that swamp is right there down by the road. And then I'm gonna make a left and go this way and see what's up. So I'm gonna walk, like I said, I'm gonna walk down this way and around. And Bob is up this hill and he's going over the hill and walking the edge. I'm gonna go low, he's gonna go high. And we're just gonna walk it. And I like just to walk just to see what's there and what paths have been being used, so. All right, guys, well, we're going to take a nice slow walk, and I'm going to meet Bob back at my blind, and then I'm going to tear my blind down and pull my camera. All right, guys, well, got all of my equipment out, got the blind down. The blind was kind of tough to fold up. I got to read the directions. But uh, we're going to head out here, go get some to eat, and tomorrow we're going to be back at it. Do some shed hunting again tomorrow. Bye.
All right, good morning, everyone. Uh, we're on the side by side. We're going out behind the house here uh, to some private land, and we're going to probably walk some public land this morning. We're putting out some minerals and checking out a spot where I may want to put a stand uh, on public for next year. So uh, stay with us. We're going to go do this. I'll show you around the place a little bit, and uh, we'll see you in a bit. All right, guys, so uh, we find a really big leg right over here. I think I might even walk over and show you guys it. Uh, but Bob is clearing out. We're going to be dumping minerals here. And I'm going to show you the uh, tree that he's going to be in. It's right off of this field edge. We've been getting a lot of pictures. And he's seen. He found the rack of my deer that I passed up right on this side. But there's really big rubs over here with a bunch of trails. That we're, he's going to set up a stand here. Put some minerals out. Put a camera on it. And start monitoring this area. Because uh, we think that way is where the private land is. And it's where it's really thick. So he's trying to pull them out. That's where they're coming from to come into this. Uh, it's private over there and then we're on private here. But then there's public over like where I stand is. And this is uh, our buddy Dan's place. So he's we're allowed to put stands over here. And Bob's doing that now to try to intercept them from going over to the uh, public land. So stay with us. Yeah. All right here. So Bob is, uh, we got the antler king, right Bob? Right. And what's the reason why you bought this bag instead of the bucket? More minerals. So more less, minerals in this bag. Filler. Less filler and more minerals. To help antler grow. Strictly for antler growth. That's awesome. And he, he didn't know that until he read the, the ingredients. And there's way more minerals in this bag and less salt, salt in the bucket. Yeah. So Compared that's awesome. They, they sell a comparable bucket for $3 less. It has more fillers right. and it's less minerals. So cool. For, for more antler growth. We want the minerals. Pay attention it, to the ingredients. Yes, definitely. Less than well and there's Antler King, guys. Trophy mineral. And we dug a hole out here. And the reason why Bob wanted the hole dug is because we're on the hillside. If I'm going to try to catch this. Uh, up to the right here is the field. You can see our side-by-side -side right there. Bob's side-by-side. -side, where this hill comes down. Well, when you're putting minerals on the hill, if you just dump them on the ground, it's going to wash down. So we dug the hole out and made a little bank right here. And he's dumping the antler king mineral in there and that's something for you all to know read the direction or read the ingredients on these things and uh believe it or not the same antler king in the bucket had more salt and less minerals than yeah. the bag so less filler. less filler so definitely read your labels but shout out to antler king they make a great product and we'd like to start our start our minerals and get inventories after the season with this uh with this antler king mineral so go check out uh antler king and i will put them in the description of this video and uh you guys can go over i'll leave the website and everything on there so all right guys we'll be right back i'm gonna go show you this rub real quick all right everyone well here is the trail and this is the buck rub that we found and this is a late season buck rub and it don't look like much but it's definitely a signpost and this is a sign of a mature buck, and we think it's turkey foot doing this. But that is, you can see Bob right there. There's the rub, and then Bob's tree stand is going to be in those trees right up top there. So this is just a signpost rub. This is something to look for, guys, when you're in the woods. Look for these. You may miss these. This might have been in, a, in the season. But this is stuff you want to look at when the when uh you know there's deer around you got them on camera like we have turkey foot on camera but this is a great signpost to start you know dumping minerals if you if you're allowed check with your local state game laws and everything about dumping minerals out but we'd like to do this after the season to see what's in we already have turkey foot on uh, i have the handsome eight and then we have a few we have the seven point that i passed up also uh, on and they still have their rack so we're still looking for looking for sheds today but that is over there is private that we're not allowed on so we want to pull them from there and that's where we think they're bedding at so all right guys stay with us all right so we're over in the spot where we shot her buck and i passed that eight point off but you can see the tree stand right there and we this is where we bob got a picture of the uh turkey foot here so we're dumping some minerals right here and this is also you know downhill here so we got some blockade right here to catch the minerals so they don't just wash down over it's basically concentrated right there bob usually puts his camera on that big tree there 
so uh but yeah this is a great little funnel area we had a lot of bucks you saw i passed up at the 10 the 7 and the 8 from this spot last year so just getting the minerals in the ground trying to grow them bigger for next year guys antler king trophy mineral check them out in the description Okay, right, guys, so we're walking back off of the private on the public here and the pick stuff. And this is the stuff that you want to find. This is where you want to keep your searches and areas in. You find a couple of these on the way in. And this is where you start narrowing down your uh, you know, areas. It is a road. It's low on the tree, though, really low. Yeah, those are the right trees. Right? Right. 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 Now you can see the time marks. You can see the time marks. Yeah. It looks like it. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay, guys, this is your off the hook tip of the week. Uh, now, Bob know and I know since we've been hunting together for so many years, as he's walking in front of me, he's breaking branches, or if a branch is going to snap back and smack me in the face, he's going to hold that branch until I get up to grab the branch. Like he's not gonna slingshot me in the face. <laughs> so that's uh that's your off the hook tip of the week. When somebody's walking in front of you, they need to know to hold their branches back until you get there, or they'll slap you right in the face, guys. That's your off the hook tip of the week. All right, guys. Well, we went through this really nice open pocket up here, and there was a bunch of ferns on the ground. Uh, and it looked pretty promising for a uh, spot, but that would be an all day sit because this is pretty far walk, far walk back. So we're just going to go and we're going to do a big circle and go out to our stands and come back through. So if we see anything interesting, I'll definitely show you guys. Stay with us. All right, guys, here's another really nice opening. You can see it's going, going up through that way. That's which way I'm heading there. This is a great place for sheds. So we're going to go and keep our eyes open. This opening, it all leads down to behind me, that, thicket, that really nice thicket that they, don't come, they seem to come out of. So this is a good spot to even just put a stand up to, to actually uh, scout. So I'm going to walk up and see if I find anything. Another cool thing about just walking the woods and scouting and going into new areas is you see stuff like this, guys. Look at that. Look at that old stand. There's chains. It's like a crate made into a tree stand. You want to, and yeah, it's just neat to see or wonder what was, you know, shot out of there or what was seen out of there. Pretty neat. And as you're walking on public land, you can see there's somebody's filming out of there. There's a ladder stand there and a lock on right there. So if you run into stuff like that, but you just leave the area, let it go. Somebody else. Is hunting this area so we'll just walk on by all right guys well i just marked a pin in this location uh, as we were walking over here uh, really nice it looked like a big eight or a ten jumped up and ran it still had his full rack on and he went down that way and uh i marked the pin over on this side because i was liking this area bob used to have a stand in this area years ago but this is a really cool spot it's like the first crossing we were talking about coming out of this thicket so I marked a pin here to come back later on in the year and check it out. And there's acorn trees up on this bridge here. So we're going to check that out. You know, it's just something to do. You want to make sure that the acorns are producing. If they're not producing, it might not be as productive. So it's just something to take in consideration. All right, guys. Well, that ends the video today. We got a lot of good intel. I marked a pin on a few spots uh, that I'll come back later in the season. To look uh i want to thank bob for walking with me today which he's been my hunting partner for what 30 years uh and we work really well together so i want to thank bob uh but we're gonna head back to pittsburgh so uh i'm actually gonna go to uniontown my camp and we're gonna pull some cameras and stuff like that and camera cars before we get home so uh but yeah it was a good productive weekend i found a lot of neat spots that are the provoked some curiosity on my end so i marked some pins uh now the next thing is put some cameras up now uh later probably in march i'll do that 
and start, you know, monitoring out all year, all the way up to the next season, and we'll see if we're going to put a stand there or not. So uh, I wanted to thank you all for watching. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, please consider doing so. Uh, subscribe. Uh, hit all the notifications so you can get up uh, notified whenever we upload new content like this. And uh, we will, well, I forgot to say, take a kid fishing or hunting. We want to preserve that sport and pass it on to future generations. And we will see you.